oh, I should have made the Disneyland. Because that's where I lost my virginity. The happiest place on earth. But bitch, I was not happy that night. Trust. Hey bitch, it's Brett here and welcome to my day's guide. A is for adobo. It is my favorite Filipino dish in the world and I feel like I could probably live off adobo for the rest of my life. I also feel like if I were to murder a bitch, that would also be my last meal. But it has to be my mom's adobo. B is my favorite letter in the whole entire alphabet for obvious reasons. B is for bakla. Bakla means gay in my language. B is for Bretman. B is for baddie. It stands for every important things in my life. Like a big Besides B being my favorite letter, my favorite word in the whole entire world is bitch. Um, and I think it's because it's one of the first English words that I kind of knew when I first moved to America. I knew bitch before my name is. I really feel like it's probably my first word that I said out loud when I came out the womb. I probably corrected the doctor where he was like, it's a boy. I was like, bitch, it's a non-binary. I also like the word bitch so much that I made it a part of my book title. It's You're That Bitch. And it's gonna be available on Valentine's Day 2023. So if you guys have no Valentine's Day, I'll be your Valentine's Day. Just buy my book. L is for Lilang. Um, that is my grandmother's name. That is my witch grandmother. I was li basically my grandma's shadow when my mom left me in the Philippines. She was the first person ever to put blush on me and we would go to church and I'd pray to Jesus in my car. I'm like, girl, I'm the cuntiest girl here. I miss her so much. She was just really that girl and she was like my safety blanket growing up. Fun fact, I didn't cover this in the book, but this is a day's special. My grandma has so many gay grandkids and that's why um, I was very accepted growing up and um, I, always, I used to joke around that her pussy is cursed because all her grandkids are like gay. I think she has like, I think I have seven gay and lesbian cousins just from my dad's side. Girl. Yeah, so I was, bitch, I was made to be gay. Like literally people are like, what's your coming out story? Bitch, my grandma outed me when I was one. I've always known I was non-binary thanks to my grandma because she would always introduce me to her friends and tell them like, oh, this is my handsome and pretty um, grandson. And I'd, I'd be like, oh my God, I am handsome and pretty. Thanks, grandma. And and like I said, again, in my language, we don't really have a he or she. And so, bitch, just like her, she just made me the non-binary goddess that I am today. Uh, G is for gay and G is also for gym. G is for gays in the gym. And that very much describes me, especially right now in my life. I feel like I'm in the gym five times a week. I don't really have much to do, especially when I'm back home. So I might as well get hot. I was named after wrestlers, Bret the Hitman Hart and The Rock, Bretman Rock. And that's why um, my dad signed me up for every fucking sports there is. I don't. Yeah, my first sport was baseball, then I did soccer, track. My mom signed me up for hockey for a week, football. But you know what? All those sports made me realize that I am not a team player. I'm a selfish <laughs> My fifth grade self would believe me if I said I became an international online bestie fantasy. But he would not believe me if I said I started picking up weights even though we're named after wrestlers. But whatever, Bretman Pebble. I call my childhood self Bretman Pebble. J is for Jacques Mousse. Jacques Mousse is my favorite designer at this very moment in time. I just kind of like started in the fashion field um, in the past two years. And I think he was like one of the first designers that were willing to lend me clothes. Cause you know, bitches didn't know one of them Bretman Rock clothes before. and. Just for him to um, believe in a little gay boy like me, and um, and I also love his dog, um, and his husband's really cute. Oh, and he did a show in Hawaii, and um, they were very respectful with the Aina, and they hired so many local people. And I met so many of my favorite people there. I met that's where I met SZA, that's where I met Jenny from Blackpink. I finally got to hang out with Janae. Bitch, everybody was there, and even all my local friends. Yeah. Probably the coolest experience of my life. Every Jack Moose show, it's always epic. S is for SOS, or says the uh, she's just an angel, and I just I love her. I love everything that's coming for her, and I'm gonna support Sizza till I die. My favorite song from the album right now is probably Conceited and Snooze and Blind. 
I can't wait till I get to sing um, Nobody Gets Me to somebody. Because right now I can't relate to it, but I can't wait till I'm like, Nobody gets me, you do. See? She responds to me. She goes, she, she responded to my egg story. She goes, so pretty. And then she responded to me jump roping, my inspo. And then she goes, you're literally my life inspo. I'm in Kauai. I'm like, are you trying to invite me over or what? H is for Hawaii. Yeah, I moved to Hawaii when I was eight years old with nothing but hopes and dreams in my bag. Uh, no, I didn't. I couldn't even. I didn't. I didn't even know what I wanted to do when I first moved to Hawaii. But um, Hawaii is where Bretman Rock was nurtured with so much aloha. I'm not Hawaiian, but like I so I owe so much of my identity to Hawaii, and it's made me the bad bitch that I am today for sure. For lack of a better word, Hawaii just makes me feel like a human being. I is for internet, another place where Bretman Rock grew up. Uh, my first exposure to internet would probably be Club Penguin. Shout out to all you bitches that were on Club Penguin. I also remember joining Facebook in fifth grade. That was really fun. If you guys remember, like my status for it to be H. That's how you know you're a child of the internet. I didn't get exposed to YouTube until my mom won an iPad mini at her company's Christmas party. I don't know how the fuck she won it, but she won it and she gave it to me and that's when I found YouTube and I first remembered seeing makeup for the first time and it wasn't even makeup. It was when Michelle Fawn was doing a lot of like skincare hacks and she was putting like kelp and egg whites and just like the weirdest things on her face and I just did the same thing and like because I was in that Michelle Fawn bubble, all of the recommended lists were like all Asian women doing makeup. So like Bubs Beauty is Judy Sime, but, um, Promise Fawn, Dosa Candy, bitch. If you know, you know. And if you don't, Girl, those are the OG bitches. Not the drama getting girls. M is for makeup. Um, obviously, I don't really wear much anymore. I don't know if you could tell. I'm kidding. <laughs> the very first time I put makeup on myself is when I was watching America's Best Dance Crew back in 2008 and there was this group called Cabo Modern and somebody had a slit brow and I'm like, oh, that Asian kid has a slit brow and he can do head spins. If I put a slit on my brow, I could probably do head spins. So I got my mom's fucking plucker girl, tweezers, and I started tweezing away. So I ended up fucking tweezing half my brows off and then obviously I couldn't go to school the next fucking day. I was in fifth grade, bitch. So I used my mom's mascara because I didn't know what anything was back then. I used her mascara to draw on like back the stuff. But what I didn't think of was setting it in place. And bitch, it melted by the time I was in Miss <laughs> class. This is third period. I sweated off my half eyebrow. Tell me why this bitch called my mom to tell her I was wearing makeup as if my mom didn't know I was wearing fucking makeup, bitch. Cause my mom answered that shit like, I don't give a fuck. You're interrupting work. So yeah, PSA, if you're a teacher and you see a boy in makeup, mind your own fucking business. Like half these bitches don't even blow their noses and you're worried about me? My a makeup item that I can't leave the house without, I feel like my answer changes every year. If you ask my fifth grade self, I would have said my eyebrow brush. Me, you know, I just need to add a little color in my face sometimes and sometimes I don't even be putting blush. I'm just so naturally beautiful that sometimes I just be pinching my cheek like Marilyn Monroe. C is for chicken. I don't like raising like basic chickens. I like the frizzle ones. I like the silky ones. I like the Sarama ones. I don't want no fucking chicken because if you go to Hawaii, like there's so many like um, feral chickens and you know, I don't want no homeless chickens. Bitch, I have so much fucking neighbors that have chickens. Literally, they're just like, come grab a chicken, come grab a chicken, come grab a chicken. I grab chickens. <laughs> Guys, get in my pit, get in my pit, get in my pit. <laughs> and I know the world is going to a chicken egg crisis right now. And guess who's laughing? Me, bitch. Cause y'all paying $10 for an egg. I wake up to 10 eggs a day. Sorry about it. <laughs> V is for vet. You know how um, people always ask, if you weren't doing this, what would you be doing? I would definitely be a vet. I feel like even if I one day woke up and I never wanted to make videos anymore, I feel like I would go to school to become a veterinarian. And I really just am more of an animal person than like people person. 
honestly. Yeah, nobody gets me, they do. <laughs> D is for dogs. I have five dogs and I love the bully breed. My next dog is the English Bulldog. I wanna have all the bull breeds. Days, please post a picture of my dogs here so people can see my cute ass fucking dogs. In a way, I could relate to pit bulls because I feel like when people think of me, they think I'm vicious, mean, full of rabies. But then when they actually meet me, I'm like nice, sweet, and just, you know, I'm just like a big muscle girl. <laughs> what am I talking about? The other day, I put dogs on my search bar. Why the fuck? Do I have 5,600 pictures of dogs on my phone? And half of them aren't even my dogs. It's like literally random dog people. Like, I'm that bitch that comes up to you when you're walking your dog. Can I get a picture? Not of you, bitch. Of your dog. P is for princess. Princess is my sister's name. Is she a princess? No. <laughs> She's a princess of telling my mom on me. But no, I love my sister so much. My poor sister had to deal with a Leo brother for her, her, her entire life. A Leo brother that is very much the main character. I remember I was obsessed with Spice Girls. And bitch, I played all the Spice Girls. And she played the manager. We were the Destiny's child. I was every Destiny's child. And she was the mic. Yeah, my poor little sister. <laughs> um, but yeah, now she's the main character in her own um, life. And like my little niece, Cleo, I feel like I get to project how nice I should have been to my sister growing up. Um, so yeah, now Cleo is like my love letter to my childhood with my sister because now she gets to be the main character. <laughs> Killer Queen is my favorite song in the whole entire world. I first found Killer Queen um, when my dad was showing me Queen. When I used to walk to school, I used to play like backtracks of people screaming. Oh my God. I was so delusional, y'all. I used to walk to fucking school. I would play Killer Queen first and then I would look up literally concert sounds of people screaming so that I felt like people were screaming my name when I'm walking to school. I was walking to school like, and I did not give a fuck. And look where I'm at now. People are actually saying my name now. Yeah. Oh wow. Not me having a moment right here. Like, oh my god. Sorry, I did not mean to have a moment right here. <laughs> well, bitches, that is all the time we have. That has been my day's guide. Make sure you guys check out my book, You're That Bitch, coming out everywhere near you. This is Bretman Rock, and I will see you on my next video. Oh wait, bitch, why is this my fucking YouTube channel? This is Bretman Rock, and I will see you if Days invites me ever again. <laughs>